before that, let me show you this though. Maybe you can tell by looking at that. Get in the comments below. Let me know if you think you know what it is. Real sneakerheads probably know what it is, but I don't know. That's just your hint right now. I'm going to give it a few seconds, then I'm going to tell you. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, J Sarge Vlogs, a.k.a. DIY Kari, coming at you with another video. And today, we doing a little something different today. I wanted to come on here and actually talk about my first ever custom that I made back in 2013. Yeah, it's, it's a long time. Granted, when I started, it wasn't something that I planned. I actually got into it because I got hurt in a motorcycle accident. So I was out for three months. Couldn't walk, couldn't do nothing because I broke my tibula and fibula. So I needed something to kill time pretty much. I needed something to keep my mind off the injury. And I just got into customizing shoes. This particular shoe I had two of at the time. Don't know why I chose this shoe. I, granted, yes, I said I had two, but it's just one shoe I probably should have just left original. But I did. And it is what it is. I, like I said, I had two, so I didn't really care. The other one was DS. So I just, I ran with it. But I did minimal research. I didn't really research what I needed to do to prep the shoe. Only thing I researched is what kind of paint to buy, what kind of paint brushes I needed. And that was about it. All I did was clean the shoe. Even though it wasn't dirty, I, I cleaned the shoe real good. Like I said, I did not prep it. I didn't do nothing. And when y'all see this shoe, y'all gonna be like, that shoe is busted which it is, it was my first one. So I'll, I'll take whatever comments come in the comment section below. I really don't care. I'll take that. But like I said, I, I was hurt. Didn't have nothing to do for three months. It took me two months to actually do this. I don't know why it took two months because I, I didn't have nothing to do. But it took me two months to actually do it because I kept changing the colors. I know I wanted blue, but I could not get the blue that I wanted. So I just kept going back, cleaning it off and restarting. That took two months to finish. So the blue I actually got, I created that blue. But I wish I wouldn't. I like, I'm going to keep coming back to this. I wish I would have never just... I wish I would have left the shoe alone. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I would have left it alone because I don't have that second pair anymore. I end up selling it, selling it probably two to three months after I finished that one. When I was back on my feet, I ended up selling it. And I was just stuck with that one. So, before I show y'all this shoe, I'm going to give y'all a little hint of what it, it could be. It's a Retro 4 that came out in 2009. And it was all white. There's two different versions. So maybe you can guess it, maybe you can't. But when I tell you in the middle of the video or at the end, you're gonna be like, oh, that's what it is. So without further ado, let me just show you the shoe Get your jokes ready. Get all your comments ready. Bow. This is my first custom. Like I said, it is in rough shape. And as y'all can see, I tried to paint the bottom. I tried to paint the insole, the outsole. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that, but I did. And this is how it turned out. Nice. 
I don't know what I was doing when I made these dots. It just was something that I put there. Put my initials. Don't know why I did that. But as you can see, this shoe has seen its days. It's starting to come apart now. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to come apart. Cracking in the places it always cracks. If you don't prep it right, which I found that out a month later, I don't know what happened there. Like missing line work sucks. Painted that you can't even see the Jordan no more, really. <laughs> it's just silly things. I forgot to paint the inside. This one, I, I can tell this was the second one that I did. Like this was the first one I painted and this was the second one. Because the line work is pretty much straight. I don't feel like I missed mo a lot of stuff on this one. But it's still the same, cracking. Missed that. Actually painted that different. I don't know what happened with the other one. Jumpman painted. Missed this that's pretty straight like i said this probably was the second one i painted because i feel like i took my time on this one it's the same thing this is coming off too and so it's coming the outsole is coming out a glue like i said this is from 2009 so it's 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 had its days it's lived its life but i will be re-gluing that I will be taking this paint off. That's chipping. This whole shoe, both of them will be redone sometime soon. I'm not sure when I got so many projects. Now, to tell y'all what shoe this is, before that, let me show you this though. Maybe you can tell by looking at that. In the comments below, let me know if you think you know what it is. Real sneakerheads probably know what it is, but I don't know. That's just your hint right now. I'm gonna give it a few seconds, then I'm gonna tell you. I really want to know what y'all think about these. Like, ask me any question you want to. What was you thinking? What made you do it? Honestly, like I said, I had nothing but time on my hands, so. That's why I did it. What I was thinking at the time, I don't know. Probably wasn't because of the medication I was on. Probably wasn't, just being honest. I just know I was bored. That's all I know. But let me tell you what these actually are. Like I said, these are from 2009. As you can see, it's a retro four. These are not the pure monies, as somebody probably said that, but these are the 25th anniversary editions of the Retro 4. It used to be all white, just like the pure monies, with silver. And this came at came out with the collection. It was part of the 25th anniversary collection that came out. It was the retro ones, these the retro twos and the elevens. They all came out same, around the same time. I had these, two pair of these, the retro twos, the retro ones, which I still have, and I have the retro nines. And that's another video that's gonna be coming up because that's another epic fail that I decided to do and it didn't turn out the way I thought it would because it was another first. But back to these, these, like I said, are the Retro Fours. I had two pair of them. Didn't care to mess up one, I guess, at the time. And I end up doing this. It's just, 
Oh man. And I, I actually wore them out. I got compliments, which I was surprised. Like, they didn't really look at the shoe, I'm guessing, because me knowing how I did it and what I did, I know it wasn't up to par, but people actually liked them. They liked the idea that was two different colors, plus what the laces that I had in it kind of made it pop, but I was not satisfied with them. I just, I went with it and ran with it, as y'all can see, because I didn't take it off. But I have plans for these. I will be taking this off, like I said, sometime soon. And I will, will be restoring the outsole. And I will be cleaning all this paint off as much as possible. Not sure how much is going to come off, but I'll find out when I start. And we're going to get these back right. I know I'm not gonna get that paint off the bottom off, so I'm not even gonna try. But everything goes, it's coming off. Again, I just wanna get on here, talk about my first custom, get everybody's thoughts. I know it's gonna be some wild comments. I hope it's wild comments. Entertain me. And just let me know what you think. All in all, I know they are bad, <laughs> but I like them at the time. It is what it is. So we're going to get up out here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. This is your first time. Because there's more videos like this coming. Because I'm still trying to get the 1K. And I got, like I said, I got a lot of stuff coming. But all of, let me get out of here before I start rambling. Peace out.